Okay, so again, I'm just gonna repeat this, I'm sorry. Um, you're gonna need your bottle of glue. You're gonna need a pair of pliers. You're going to need a flathead or slotted screwdriver. You're going to need your ruler. You're going to need your tongue depressors. You're gonna need your sandpaper. You're gonna need your uh, piece of plywood with your make drawn out on it. And you will need a old magazine that you can destroy. Okay, very important. You do not want to damage your mom or dad's nice coffee table or dining table or anything that's nice. You want to be able to destroy the, the catalog or the old magazine. Okay, so everything you do, everything you glue, you're going to do on the magazine. Now, mine's covered in plastic, so it's kind of nice if the glue don't stick to it. Okay. And you're going to need your drawing. And so today, what we're going to do is we are going to cut out uh, just the outside pieces. Now, we know that the distance from here to here is five inches, and the distance from here to here is seven inches. First pieces we're going to glue on are going to be the end pieces. Each popsicle or uh, popsicle, the tongue depressor measures one sixteenth of an inch thick. So if we were to take the ruler here and we were to hold it right up here, and it's really hard to see, but it is one tick mark over. It's all it is. Okay. So first things first, uh, we need to score our material. Scoring the tongue depressor is easy. You shouldn't have to, uh, I mean, this is totally doable. Most everybody's got a screwdriver at home and a pair of pliers. It's pretty safe that you have those. So what I want you to do is you're going to take your tongue depressor and you see how the ends on the tongue depressors are around. We want to eliminate that. We want to have a nice 90 degree angle right here. So what I do is I take my ruler and I line my ruler up to the edge of my tongue depressor. I don't want it like this, where there's this gap here, because it's not going to give me a 90 degree angle here to this line here. So I line these up right here, flush it out. And what I do is I take the edge of my screwdriver and I score across the fibers on the tongue depressor. And it's kind of hard to see and on my other ones, I will draw a line. What I'm doing is I am kind of cutting through the fibers. I am not cutting all the way through the material. You can see that uh, it's kind of hard with the light here. I'll solve this so you can see it. There is a pencil or there is a score into there now. still difficult to see. There we go. So you can see when I drew my pencil line there how straight it was because I scored across there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. This is the section I want to keep here. I'm going to take a pair of pliers. It can look like this. It might be these. It might be this. Heck, you might even have one of these. That'll all work, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to the main portion here because this is the section I wanna hold on to. I'm gonna take the edge of my pliers, I'm gonna line it up right along that line there, and then I'm gonna start working it across. Now you can see I got a little tang right there. So I would try and cut or kind of pull that off. And now what you need to do is you need to take a piece of sandpaper and you want to kind of just lightly sand that. In your kit, you should have a piece of sandpaper, okay? So, all right. So I have got this end cut here. And 
So I'm gonna cut four of these. I know from here to here is five inches. I know from here to here is five inches, but I know this is seven inches here. So my tongue depressor is not long enough. It won't go all the way down. So I gotta add more to this. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut four of these guys out, okay? And so uh, I'm gonna come over to here. I'm gonna line my ruler up on the zero or line my tongue depressor right there on the zero. I'm gonna come over to where it says five on my ruler and I am going to make a dot. And it's hard to see on mine. And by the way, if you can't see what I'm doing, I need you to speak up to me. I will not be offended by it. I actually will be very appreciative of it because if you can't see it, nobody else can see it. Okay, so I've measured out five inches and I'm gonna take my, take my uh, screwdriver and I'm gonna score across on my catalog, not on my mom and dad's nice kitchen table or um, um, what do you call it? Coffee table. Because, man, I'm telling you, I told you not to do that. Okay, I've scored across and I'm going to do the same thing. Work it, work it, stamp it off, clean it up. Okay, I got three more of those to do. So I'm gonna work quick. If I was you, you could start actually cutting these out now, but you don't want, if you're, if you're not done with this, I do, or with all the lines on here, I do not want you to glue it on because it'll only make your job a lot harder. Okay, and we don't wanna create more work for ourselves. Okay, so if you haven't gotten your pattern lined out on your uh, on yours, um, you can cut the sticks out. These um, you'll need a total of uh, like five popsicle sticks to do this, or I'm sorry, tongue depressors, and then you can um, from there you can finish up drawing your picture or your pattern for your mask. Okay, square up five inches. I draw five, make a dot. There we go. We're gonna draw a line. Again, it's okay to say, Mr. Crane, I can't see it. I know I'm using a tool, not like I'm really supposed to, but we're just scoring. actually cutting through it. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay, there's one. Oh, there's two, sorry. Okay, so you can see that I just broke right here. Um, that's okay. Don't panic, don't freak out. I'm gonna measure here and see if I can cut it out of there with this. Eh, I cannot on this piece, but I'm not gonna throw this piece away. I'm going to save it because I can still utilize it, okay? So here's another popsicle or tongue depressor. 
don't want to say in popsicle sticks, but there's a ton of pressers. Okay, so you saw me make a mistake. That's okay. We learned from that. Part of the reason why it did that is it, uh, I did not score it enough. And I kind of did that on purpose for you to see what could happen. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Nice. All right. Throw out my five inches. Got. Okay, there's three. One more of these. And you can kind of see that I'm using the end of my ruler as a guide to kind of just give me a straight line to score across with. Up, you're out five inches, make a dot. Okay. Go on the score on here. Make sure if you're coming in late that you watch this video before you start. Do not score any of your tongue depressors on your mom or dad's dining table or countertop or um coffee table because you will scratch it you'll see that i have a catalog an old magazine below if you do you have been warned and you will face the consequences i told you to get a magazine all right now that one that i broke off right here i'm going to rescore and i think i can save it so I'm gonna come back over to here. I'm gonna rescore this. And I'm gonna to talk to you about some things here before I glue anything down. Okay. Fucker. Score across there, good. If you are behind. I suggest you uh, start thinking about contacting me and we can get you caught up. Okay. All right. So 
I told you that the distance from here to here is five inches. You're gonna to want to check and make sure that you are not overhanging. So if I hold this up here and I hold this up against here, and it's gonna be hard for you to see, but I am hanging over a little bit over here. So I am going to sand this because I want this edge to be flush to this line here when this is up against it. Okay, and we're getting close, but not quite there yet. Oh yeah, that's looking good now. I know it's hard to see with my hands in the way. And I'm also going to take this edge here and I'm going to sand the bottom flat. Okay, nice flat edge. It's going to go right there. All right. So I know that this is five inches. This might be a little bit longer than five inches, but that's okay. But my problem is, is that I want you to see, you can see right now that I'm overhanging this over this point right here. Well, our popsicle stick measures a 16th of an inch thick. So you need to add a six, two sixteenths to uh, this. Two sixteenths equals an eighth. Why do I need to get to add two sixteenths, Mr. Dufresne? Well, you've got to add a sixteenth length this way and, and down here. Carson, make sure you watch the video before you start this. Be sure to watch the video before you start this because there are some expectations. You need to get a magazine and do all your cutting on top of the magazine. You do not want to ruin your table. Okay, I'm not going to be held responsible for that. All right, so now I know the distance from this corner to this corner is seven inches but I have to add a 16th on this end and I have to add a 16th on this end. So I'm gonna cut another popsicle or a tongue depressor and I'm gonna cut it to two and an eighth inches because this is five inches. So if I come over here, I take my ruler, I line it up and it's hard for you to see, but I'm gonna count out one inch, two inch, and then I'm gonna count out two sixteenths. Two sixteenths is one eighth. And I'm gonna make a dot on that. And I am going to score across that point. And I'm just using the screwdriver tip to kind of Dent the material. Okay. And since this is the section I'm keeping, I'm going to take and I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to line up the score line on my pliers and do a little wiggle in and snap it, stand it. And, and this, remember, this is that one that I broke off and I've got still got room on this. I think I can get another piece out of this. So it's not a big deal. So I'm going to two and one eighth right here on my ruler. So I got the end of my ruler at two and an eighth. I'm gonna come down to the zero down here. I'm gonna make a dot and line my ruler up right on that dot right there. And that is where I am going to score my material.
Okay, got that. Line it up. There we go. All right, now. Okay, now I'm gonna glue. So when you get ready to glue all this stuff up, I want you, now I haven't glued it up yet. Make sure that it fits and it's flush. So I need to do some sanding on this piece here. But you saw that I added the little piece down here. I don't want to put that right over here. I want to put that up here. Okay. I might have the wrong piece. Oh, it fit there. Okay. And then I'll put this piece down here. Okay. All right. It's a good idea to flatten out all of the edges, the bottom edges on these, because if you look at them, they are kind of rounded over on these edges. And so you want to get that nice and flat. So I would take all your pieces and I would hand those flat. Okay, here we go, get your glue. Now this is washable glue, so this is pretty good. Uh, this will come out, but um, using regular wood glue, it doesn't come out of your clothing, okay? So there's kind of a fine line on this. Too much is not good, not enough is not good either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bead of glue right down on the bottom lip of this. And I am going to press this up here and you should get a little bit of squeeze out of glue. You should be able to see it down in, right in here. Okay, you can barely see it, but it is there. There is some squeeze out there. You can kind of see it like right in here. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the side piece here. And remember now, I need this piece to overhang, but I want it to sit flush there. Okay, now if you look, I'm gonna set this up so you can really see here what I don't want. So if you look right now, can you see that my piece of material is kind of bowed out this way? Okay, that's an easy fix, but you don't want to glue it like that. So all you got to do is take your, you can see it's got a little bit of a bow and it. it's kind of doing this. So I just take it and kind of bend it the opposite way a little bit. And what I'm looking at is how does it look when it sits up? Do I have to push hard to get it to sit flush? Or, you know, I can see that it's got a little bit of a, of a gap to it. But I can go too far. And that looks pretty good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of glue to here and to here. So it's going to be kind of like an L. Okay. So I got that there. Line it up, get a little bit of squeeze out. And you're gonna let this sit. You're gonna let this thing sit for a long time, about four or five hours. You want this thing dry, okay? Now, 
If you look here, you can see I'm overhanging here on the end here a little bit. I would remove some material off of that. So I would start sanding. And you can sand afterwards, but it's a little bit easier to sand um, now. But you can sand it later. So I'm too long, I'm way too long. I'm almost thinking I might try and see if I can score just a little bit off of this thing. I don't know if I can do it. That's gonna be tough. So I would probably be using the 120 grit sandpaper for this. Remember I told you that these spaces here have to be three quarters to five eighths of an inch. Three quarters is three squares on your graph paper. Check. Getting better. Yeah, sometimes it's just too much. Oh, that's looking good right there. See how that's, that mojo potato fits in there. Oh yeah, looking good. Okay, I need to sand a little off of this end here to get it to sit flush. Wait, all right. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put glue on this end because I gotta butt this up here. It's called a butt joint. So I'm gonna add some glue on the end here. And I'm gonna add some glue here. And on this edge here. And let the press up there and now I'm gonna add glue on this bottom edge here and over here. No, actually I don't, I just need to do this edge here. Be sure to use enough glue. Not enough glue is not good. It's usually the guys that do too much and the ladies that usually don't do enough. So you get your squeeze out. Okay, and now I'm gonna check here. All right, so now I'm gonna put glue here and on this edge here. Uh-oh, I need to check. Oh, yep, my flat edge is right here. So this is the rounded edge here. I want the flat edge on the bottom, so I'm gonna go glue here. Get your squeeze out. And then my last piece right here. Upside down. Oh yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna put a little glue right here, here and on the end here. And you can see I got my little, little gap right there. I'm gonna turn that down because I'm gonna hide that. You won't be able to see it when it's on there. All right, there you go, folks. All of that is glued up and ready to rock and roll.
you want to let that sucker dry. Check to make sure everything's getting a bit of squeeze out there. Let that dry for four or five hours. Tomorrow, we're gonna work from the outside edges in. Again, you must have this pattern that you've designed drawn up on this first before you put the outside edge on. Then, what you will need to do, or what we will be doing tomorrow, is I'll be cutting these pieces out. Anything that touches the outside edge. So like this line here, I'm gonna cut that piece. I'm gonna cut this piece. This one here's touching. This one here's touching. This one is touching. This one is touching. This, this line is touching. This line is touching. This line is touching. And then this line, this, and this line are touching. <coughs> and that'll be another day of gluing. So this is going to take us a couple days to do, okay? And just take your time, okay? All right. I will post this um, and share this with you guys here um, this afternoon. So, all right.